Welcome to Electron Online. In order to understand matrices better and to be able to work with them better, we need to have the language down. So here we have a matrix in general format. Notice instead of having numbers in here, we have simply the letter A representing of a number and a subscript. Here we have A sub 1, 1, A sub 1, 2, and so forth. So what does that mean? Well, remember again that a matrix has M rows and N columns. So here there are three rows, so in this case M is equal to 3, and there's three columns, so therefore N is equal to 3. This is a 3 by 3 matrix. Also notice that the dimension of a matrix is, term in term, is, is mentioned in terms of M times N. How many rows times how many columns? In this case, this would be a 3 by 3 matrix. That's called the dimension of the matrix. The numbers inside here are either called elements, matrix elements, we also call them entries of the matrix. And notice the subscripts tell you which element it is. The first number in the subscript represents what row the element is in. The second uh, number represents what column it is in. So in this case, this is A, row 2, column 1. So you go second row, first column. So this is A21. Here's A23. That means the second row, third column. A32 means the third row, second column. A13 means the first row and the third column. So the first one always represents the row. The second number represents the column. And so that's how we term the matrices. So we call them matrix elements, or sometimes we call them matrix entries or entries of the matrix. So we, in general, we write A, I, J. I, the first number, is the row that we're in. J, the second number, is the column that we're in. Notice the numbers on the diagonal have the same row as they have the column number. So this is row 1, column 1, row 2, column 2, row 3, column 3. And so that's what we call the diagonal line of the matrix. So that helps you at least talk about the matrix. When you read a book, you can see when they talk about the elements or the entries, they talk about the dimension of the matrix, they talk about the rows and the columns, you now know what we're talking about. So let's stay tuned and go look at the next video to get more explanations of what a matrix is.